so after extracting your file let's go and uh, install the oracle database 11g so here is the extracted file click double click then right click and go for run as administrator you should right click here set up right click run as administrator yes then it will take a while let's wait i still need your help with the subscription please as we wait for the installation if you have not done so on below your screen on the right on the right hand side you will see that red subscribe button please help me click on that red subscribe button support the channel like the video and click on the notification bell so that whenever i upload any video on sql you will be notified to come check it out so here we go for next accept the terms in the license agreement go for next we have a problem here checking for oracle exe service instance failed so let's check why we have that here it says expected result should not be installed already actual result oracle service xe found on system that means i have already installed this if you have already installed uh, um, oracle database 18c express edition this should be the reason our installation failed so what we have to do here is to go and uh, delete to go and uninstall that 18c express edition and uh, i believe we're gonna be fine so if you go for next you can see the message here some of the mandatory pre-check pre-install checks have failed install go and check it out i will finish that i will go for my program pr type pr here and then add or remove programs click that so here let's go for oracle you can see i have that oracle database 18c express edition i will have to uninstall that uninstall yes you have chosen to remove the oracle okay this may take several minutes right click the setup then run as administrator click on that uh, we have to permit the installation as an administrator yes preparing to install it will take a while
so here we go for next then accept the terms in the license agreement go for next as you can see we are in the installation will begin so what really happened the the the, the first time we got this error the previous error uh, was that maybe in my own case I already installed Oracle database at C Express Edition so in your own case maybe you have installed a similar database that was why you were experiencing that installation problem so what you have to do is to make sure that you have deleted the previously installed Oracle database be it 18c be it 12 it depends on the you know I don't know it depends on the one you have previously installed so go ahead follow my follow the steps and uninstall that previously installed database and you will be fine so as you can see in our own case we are good to go now so let's continue with the installation go ahead and click next You can see I prefer to leave it with this default this default location. You can change you can browse and check change the location where you want the um where you want to save the software. But for me I will leave it as it is with this default location. Then go for next. Here, please, please pay very, very like many people do complain after the installation that they have forgotten their password or they don't know the password or the username here now what you have to do is this this passport i mean here what you have to do is this this password will be used for both the sys and the system database accounts so during the login either you use sys or system so one of them if this sys doesn't work then you, you can make use of system but i believe sys will work so here choose a password remember this password please you can use p a s s pass as p a s s as your password confirm the password p a s s please try and uh, remember this password it's very very it is very very important and equally the username should be either sys or system but i believe sys will work in some cases maybe system will work so know that that the password should be this one you added here and the usernames should be either sys or system so click on next then install will take a while let's wait the express edition on your computer so click on finish click on finish so let me go to my where I saved it on my I remember on my C, C drive, this computer, then C, then here Oracle SE, up, uh, Oracle, so get started. Let me open it. Yeah. As you can see, we have an issue here. Windows cannot find. Make sure you are okay. To resolve this issue, right click on get started. Go to properties. Then here, where the percentage starts and where the percentage ends replace it with 80 80 apply and the okay 
so here let's open again as you can see we are successful we are successful yeah we are successful so one thing you can do here um you can get a a shortcut create a shortcut right click create a shortcut so that you can have this on your desktop shortcut then let me go to my desktop and uh, i have it get started as you can see here that is the shortcut that i just created get started then let's get back to the application here you can see application express click on application express then you remember your password so we use sys and my password was p a s s then login so here create application express work space so go ahead and, and create you can use editing so username i can use um uh, le let's use uh there the ta there for the application express username let me use this for this uh um tutorial sake you can use you can choose yours so there are d a t a again the uh, d a t a then create workspace successfully created workspace to begin click here so let's click here then remember our password again there d a t a login here we go you can see the sql workshop click on this sql workshop then click on sql command then you can start typing select let's query the database select sysdate from dual that will give us the date the, today's date 21st of Ju june 2021 then let's go back to workshop to create a table go here you can see create object you can create a table create a view index or just click on create table and start creating your table so let's go back to workshop again object browser you can see available already pre-populated uh, tables so here we have um, department and we have employee i think so this are they this is the table the data you can see within the table and that is it so that is pretty much uh all i want to show you in this tutorial and please please to support me in this you know to support my channel my youtube channel please i need your help uh subscribe to the channel click on that red subscribe button below your screen on the right hand side please subscribe like the video and click on that notification bell so that whenever i upload any video on sql you will be notified to come check it out thank you and god bless